All right, everybody. I'm going to be doing this uh, a small vid on the mini extractor from Best Value Packs. As you can see, it's tiny, and you really don't need that much dry ice. I've got the dry ice sitting. You know, I got that sitting in there, and then I've got more in here, which I'm going to bury the collection tank into here and get it super, super cold before before I pull a vac. On, you know on it and before I actually fill it with the um, solvent so like I said go ahead and get her super super cold because the colder you get the better the vacuum and you know the um, the solvent will go in there a lot easier and I'll get back with you as soon as it's cold enough and I put the vacuum on it and then we'll fill it all right talk to you in a second all right just a quick tip while you're letting your tank um, get cold get really really cold sub-zero before you pull a vacuum in and fill it you're gonna be you're gonna want to pack your little tube you know on the mini or or even on the other one you're gonna want to pack the tube so go ahead and save the caps that they send with it so you can fill it you know you can fill it down to the cap and then you don't have to worry about material falling out you know at either end when you're filling it. it's just a little tip I know it sounds ridiculous you know but people get so excited when they open up everything they end up throwing these away so uh, like I said it's just another tip and I'll be back with you after I'm done packing this all right I'm back again I know it was really quick <laughs> especially with this vid but anyways um, now I've got this under dry ice, got my line hooked up to the vacuum pump, I'm going to go ahead and pull this to full vac, it probably won't take much time at all because I mean it's tiny, so let's go ahead and see what it does. As you can hear, that changed really fast. <laughs> I'm going to let it sit for a few more seconds. Uh, but you can hear the machine changed really quick. Because um, there's there's just nothing in there. Uh, you know, the pull of vacuum on. You're just pulling the atmosphere out. And if there's not much volume for the atmosphere to be in, of course, you guys understand what I'm saying. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, and for all you naysayers, my sock is gone, and now I've got the carbon filter up there. Haha. -ha. <laughs> but anyways, uh, now you you hear it coming to, you know, it's at full vac. Otherwise, the, you know, the pump would be making a lot more noise. Now that you hear the noise change, go ahead and close her off. Oh, sure. Go ahead and close it. And then you can go ahead and turn off your machine and get ready to uh, fill it. And then you'll be putting your other part of your mini back in the dry ice while this is, you know, after you're done filling this, you're going to let this, you know, warm up the room temp. Um, I mean, you could cool it a little bit faster, but it's not necessary. But go ahead and let that warm back up and then... Uh, like I said, while you're letting that warm back up, you go ahead and have put your other one in here, get it really cold for full vacuum, and I'll show you that in just a second. Now, see this little red cap in here? This is how I fill um, without the can tap. It just works better for me. Um, you guys can use the can tap or this, but like I said, this is what I use. I just find the right nozzle. As you can see, it's already sub-zero temps. I'm going to take it outside and go ahead and fill it up. And then I will be back. Sorry about the pausing and start. I wish I had a, you know, a little hesitation in between, but I don't feel like editing and all that. So, but anyways, I'll be right back. All right, back again. Now, I have two lines. Um, when you guys go ahead and order your, uh, your, your units, I know the, they usually come with one line. I would go ahead and spend the extra and get yourself another one. And the reason for it is just for this fact. Okay, you want to pull a vacuum on your tank, on your column. 
but you also want to pull a vacuum and pull all the atmosphere out of this line. We learned that from the kid, old Brett Maverick himself, which makes a lot of sense. You know, pull all the vacuum. I mean, it, there's not much of anything in there, but since this unit is so small, you want to make sure all the atmosphere is gone just so it runs better. And that's the same with the bigger units. So I've got this open running to that and that is closed that's gonna stay closed you know that's just gonna but I want all the atmosphere out of this line out I've got my other line hooked up to the tank so when I pull and to the pump and to the vacuum pump so when I pull the vacuum it's gonna pull everything out of here out of the tank everything out of the column you know it's packed it's a packed column but it's still gonna pull all the atmosphere out of the tank out of the column and out of the line that you, you know your working line all right so I'm gonna go ahead and start the pump hear how it sounds now just listen and then you'll hear the, the change in the pump you've also got your gauge I know on some on the older units they didn't have the gauges but on this one you got your gauge and it's already dropping really fast because like I said this is a small small unit there's just nothing there to really pull out the atmosphere you know I mean there's not really much atmosphere in there to pull out now I'm gonna go ahead and pull this vacuum then I'm gonna go ahead and let it uh, then close my valves I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 15 minutes and then I'm gonna pull the vacuum one more time just to um, really, really make sure. But I mean, you can hear this thing is so small. It goes so fast. I'm going to be amazed that, you know, I'm just, I'm going to be curious on, on a lot of things on how much I get back. Because, I mean, I'm only running trim. And, I mean, this is a 45 gram tube. So, I mean, I can't expect much. And I'm only using one can of uh butane in this run so like i said i can't expect much but i'm still curious to see what kind of outcome you know we're gonna get for small personal runs hopefully i think this thing is gonna work out excellent because but uh, i gotta quit rambling and uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and churn off this valve All my valves are really tight. All right, now you know there should be a vacuum in this line going to the solvent can. Now it's still pulling vacuum through here and in the tank, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off my other valve. Now you heard the change in the machine. I'll be right back all right now I've got the the unit disconnected from the vacuum pump as you can see right there we're at full vacuum and I did uh, find out um, that one of my gaskets was kinked so it wasn't holding pressure so I had just had to change the gasket out it was nothing it was my you know user error I probably kinked it when I put it on there uh, but and I've also got it all the atmosphere out of the line and you know got the tank over here now since it's so small I don't have to throw it up on the ladder tech or you know, all that stuff you know um, for those of you who have seen my other videos um, I can probably you can probably wait for it to warm up just a little bit more and you can probably just hold it and uh, turn it upside down I you know don't have somebody else to help me so I'm gonna have to go ahead and you know cut it and then turn it and go ahead and start my extraction um and then i'll you know get right back from you but this is you know this is pretty pretty decent everything's going really fast and uh the extraction process is probably going to go really fast too but i'll be right back oh and um right now like i said you're just you got this 
compact full of material. You've got your tank under vacuum. This under vacuum. This under vacuum. That is all full of solvent, ready to go. And like I said, you can turn this upside down, help it out a little bit. Or you could even, you know, do the long process, just put that in a warm water bath and have it chase, you know, chase it. But, like I said, it's so simple, you guys can, you know, figure out if you want to turn it upside down or what, you know. Because it's small enough, you guys can do all that. But, alright, I'll be back with you once I go ahead and run all this through later all right as you can see I just propped it up on the corner of the table just for safety not really safety but just I just pushed that up against it it sits there fine um, but the can it emptied like in probably four or five minutes if that um, but I'm gonna go ahead and let it you know let it do its thing for at the most ten minutes <laughs> you'll probably be done but uh all right, I'll be right back. All right, as you can see, uh, this thing is, you know, really light. Fits in the palm of your hand. I mean, this is a mini. Um, I'm going to get ready for the extraction process. Probably took, you know, um, before I start recovery. Um, maybe at the most 10 minutes, if that. <laughs> um... <clears throat> So if you had one of these and you had a whole bunch of them tubes, nah, I, I won't even get into all that. But anyways, I mean, that was really quick. I'm not, you know, like, again, you're not running much. I'm only running trim, so I'm not expecting much, but you never know. But uh, this emptied really quick, so I'm going to go ahead and take this whole thing outside, disconnect my lines, and then reconnect the line back to on over on that side on that port for recovery all right everybody and while you can um while you've got this out go ahead and take your empty your dry ice back into your cooler and then get um once this is empty and everything um you know with all the the pressure and the little leftover of gas um then go ahead and you know put this back on dry ice and vacuum so you can go ahead and do your recovery. All right, I'll be um, back with you when I get the warm water bath and all that, you know, ready. Uh, but yeah, so far, so good. All right. All right, I'm back again. Um, everything, you know, I got everything hooked up for recovery, as you can see. It's off of the column on the tank lid line going into your recovery tank which is at full vac on on dry ice this is in a warm water bath and it's it's really a, I should say a lukewarm water bath because it's only about 80 degrees but uh it'll be it's just gonna be a little bit slower but um, at least it's warmer than what it was when it was all full of frost but I'm going to go ahead and open my recovery tank. Then I'm going to go ahead and open the work tank. And you can hear it already filling into this one. And remember, the your solvent is going to run from the heat and chase the cold. Again, it's going to run from the heat in the warm water bath, go through here, and then chase the cold. And then it's going to turn back into liquid, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sorry about all that, but it's just, like I said, a lot of people, you know, it's just really basic, you know. The warmth chases the cold. And like I said, we'll see what we got. I mean, there's just a little bit of trim in there. I'm not expecting much. But I'm going to give her, hmm, say 20 minutes. Go ahead and check, you know, check and see where I'm at. Uh, and then maybe change the water. I don't have to wait that long. 
but I'm going to do it in a little bit of uh, colder temps because like I said, I'll, it'll take me a few tries to really see what, you know, the times and the water temps and stuff like that because that's so small. I don't want to get it warmed up too quick and then have most, you know, have an actual muffin starting in inside my tank. You know, I just, eh. Um, but like I said, who knows, I might even get this little itty bitty thin layer oil slick across the bottom of the can that's barely scrapable because there's just not that much material in there. I don't know yet, but you know, we'll see. Uh, you know, I bet you there's going to be enough, um, not for a pour, so everyone don't expect me to, you know, crank out a nice little pour with this can. I mean, come on now, you're not, you're, you just don't have enough material to run through it. Not with and enough, so, but anyways, um, but yeah, I'll get back to you guys and girls, um, here in a bit. And uh, I don't know, you guys can stop it here, take a siesta, whatever you know, whatever you can do. But uh, I'll be back in probably 10 to 20 minutes. All right, everybody, all right, everyone, I'm back. And as you can see, there we go. That's the product. Alright, I can try to pour, but it's probably going to make more of a mess. But here we go. <laughs> Alright, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Alright, everybody. Um, I just thought I'd come back and show you guys. You know, um, I got this left in the can. I could probably scrape a little bit more. But that's just... I'm going to go ahead and clean it with some Everclear. And uh, I just keep a, a clean thing of... you know. A, a jar of Everclear full of what I clean out of the can and then later on you know I can uh, I make some winterized uh, stuff for it like that there's quite a bit down there still uh, but and there's what we got in there you know it's for trim in a little itty one can a butane <laughs> that you get back I mean yeah I'm I'm kind of impressed um, of course it's not de-waxed and anything but I mean if if these little things actually took off um, you know that could be something you know that we could look into is getting a little uh, a little uh, de-waxing spool you know to go in the inline filter you know if that's what you know somebody wanted to do but they got to remember you know you already got such a small yield as it is when you go ahead and ink all your lipids and waxes out you're going to get even smaller but like i said i am i'm pretty impressed uh this little mini is just yeah well like i said i'm going to go ahead and clean it out with some everclear and uh, I would just put the Everclear right back in the bottle. Um, and then, like I said, later on down the road, you know, after... Whenever I feel like it, basically, then, you know, then I put it to the distiller and, you know, go ahead and knock it all down and collect the winterized oil. But, uh, yeah. All right, all that stuff is going to... On the round on these edges are going to... I could probably warm it up and get the rest of that out but I don't know we'll see all right sorry for the rambling <laughs> 